Well, hello, Canadian Campaholic here in the Campaholic shop, coming to you to answer a question from one of the viewers, a travel trailer basics question, and I'm going to give a basic answer. The question is, how do travel trailers get their water? So let's head outside in the freezing cold Canadian winter, and let's answer that question. All right, so two major ways that your trailer is going to get water on a very basic, basic system, and this is common across most pop-up campers, uh, tent trailers and fifth wheels, although in some high-end campers it can get a little more fancy. But the first way that your camper is going to get water is through here. This is uh, your gravity fill. This is your potable water fill side. Basically what you've got here is a large plastic cap, which you take off of here. And this is, as it says on the cap, for non-pressured water. And you're basically going to put a hose at the fill station or a hose at home. Uh, make sure if you're doing it at home, it is a white uh, hose that's rated for drinking water, and you're going to put your fresh potable water uh, into this opening. Now basically this opening connects to a large pipe, and that pipe goes all the way down to your holding tank. And of course we do not have a heated enclosed underbelly, so you can see our 40 gallon fresh water tank down there with the little drain plug at the bottom. But basically you would fill this uh, until you get water starting to come out of this pipe coming back at you, or um, you would also start to get water coming through this vent. This uh, small opening with the screen is basically an air vent. So you've got a big thick pipe going into the tank and then a smaller thinner pipe next to it, which basically provides an air channel going into it so that it, basically the water can flow properly. It makes it easier putting water in and also makes it easier for the pump uh, taking water out. Um, keep in mind when you fill this tank, I've said this in another video, you've got about uh, eight or so pounds for every gallon of water. So 40 gallon tank fully filled is probably a good 300 pounds. So that's something to consider if you're gonna fill up at home uh, before you head off to the campsite. Let's head in the trailer to see what happens once we've got this tank filled up. So we're inside the camper now. So let's say we've filled our fresh water tank. The next thing you'd wanna do, and I'm not actually gonna do this because I don't have any water and it's minus 10 Celsius out, but you'd want to come to your control panel and look something similar to this and you will have a couple of switches. Uh, we're not talking about the water heater today, we're just going to talk about the water supply itself. You'd switch your water pump on and it runs off of the 12 volt supply um, and that would start to pump water through the system. So let's take a look at the pump. Now in terms of, now in terms of where uh, the pump is going to be located, it really depends on where your facilities are. Uh, within your trailer. Uh, it could be under the dinette. Ours is broken down into a bed right now. Could be somewhere under the counter. In our case, the water pump's down here. Uh, you'll have to forgive the cloves and the cotton balls with the uh, mint in there. That's to ward away mice. Um, but this is our pump. And uh, this large tube that you see here uh, was the one I was mentioning earlier. So this is where the water would come through that gravity fill into your fresh water tank. This braided hose is the vent line that goes back up to the outside. And then this pipe right here is also going down into the tank. And this is the one that actually draws the water. We've got a little bit of a filtration screen here. Uh, I'll tell you why it turned white in another video. Um, but this is a SureFlow pump. A lot of campers have SureFlow pumps. Uh, sure, geez, that's a mouthful. SureFlow pumps. They're a great pump. Uh, I can't remember if it's three or four chamber, but self-priming, uh, fantastic pump, a little bit noisy. You want to make sure the pump has got some sort of padding or um, something underneath it. This one's just sitting on its rubber feet, so it does tend to vibrate a little bit. But I digress. There's another pipe coming off the side of the pump over there. See that blue pipe? And basically, when you switch that pump on, this pump draws water out of the tank and pushes water throughout these plastic lines all throughout your camper and then that gives you water to the rest of your system. So we've got our kitchen sink here and then in the back of the camper we've got a toilet and we have a shower. And basically anytime you turn on the faucet the pump detects a drop in pressure and it will switch on and it will start to pump water through the system. Uh, it's not going to be as powerful as what you're getting at home um, but in most cases, it, uh, it works really, really well. The other thing to note is that these pumps run off of a uh, 12-volt system. So if you're boondocking, you don't need to be hooked up to shore power or 110. 
in order for that pump to run. It just runs off of uh, 12 volts. And of course, if you're plugged into power, then your power converter, ours is down there, converts that 110 volts into 12, uh, keeping everything up and, and running. Uh, but again, power, that's a whole separate conversation. That is the way that we typically do it. Um, we also use our water heater, which we'll talk about in another video. Today, we're just talking about the water supply. Um, but now let's talk about the other option, which is what if your campsite has its own water supply? How does that work? Now, the other way that campers can potentially get water is through a city water connection. They'll be uh, somewhere on the outside of the rig, usually near where the cable satellite hookup is. Ours is on the rear of the trailer near the dump station. And it has a cap that just pops off and there's a little bit of a screen in there and you would connect a hose to this end and then hook up the other end of the hose to the water supply uh, at the campsite. And what this basically does is provides pressure to the plumbing system inside the camper using the city water um, supply. You wouldn't need to well run the uh, 12 volt pump for this. That could be switched off and it would provide a, a steady flow of water. Now, here's the one thing about this though. Inside your camper, all of the plumbing is plastic PEX plumbing um, and it works quite well, but it can't handle, handle a lot of pressure. So what you wanna do is get yourself one of these. And this is basically a, a fitting, uh, it's a pressure regulator that you can buy at, uh, well, it's got a little bit of corrosion on it, at most uh, hardware stores, you know, Walmarts, Harbor Freights, um, Canadian Tires, if you're here in Canada. And basically you're gonna connect this at the spigot. You don't wanna be hooking this into the side of the camper. You wanna connect this at the tap because you want the pressure to be regulated before it even makes it to your camper. Now, I haven't used this in a long time, so I can't remember which one goes on the spigot and which one goes on the hose. But regardless, this ensures that the water pressure stays, I want to say between 25 and 30 PSI. Um, you never really know what the water pressure is going to be like at a campsite. And if that pressure is too high, you could start blowing lines apart inside the camper, flooding the camper, and then you've got a lot of uh, water damage and expensive plumbing repairs. So I think I paid like maybe 20 bucks for this. I uh, only used it a couple of times, but it worked really, really well. Um, you still get city water pressure within the camper, unlimited supply pretty much, but you know by using a regulator, you're, you're keeping things safe. All right, folks, that'll do it for this video. There's so many tangents I could go off on about water heaters and the PEX plumbing and all kinds of other things and toilets, but you know what? This series is called Travel Trailer Basics for a reason. So if this is your first time to the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, Please feel free to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next Travel Trailer Basics video.